Hi, welcome to the video series for best MCQs for ICSD physics. We welcome you to the YouTube channel Physics Theories and Numericals. In this channel, we intend to provide you good quality videos for easy understanding of theories of physics. Physics is an easy and interesting subject if you can understand the fundamental concepts. Once the concepts are understood, handling numerical will be easy. Hope you will have joyful learning and we'll learn it for life. In this MCQ series, we have designed it with a lot of care. In most of the examinations, you will find 30 to 40% questions are easy, 40 to 50% questions are with moderate level of difficulty, and 20 to 30% questions are with higher level of difficulty. In this MCQ series, we have not had too many straightforward questions or true or false type questions. We believe that you can handle those yourself. This MCQ series is with moderate difficulty level so that you, you, you become sharp in your thoughts and agility. We have given explanations with each and every answer so that you get your fundamentals strengthened. And we have kept some timer also so that you can arrive at your option before we get into the answer. Now, I am sure that you will be finding this video very helpful and will use it as a learning platform. Now we start with the chapter one for class 10, that is force. The first MCQ comes for you. One kgf is how much Newton? You have got four options and 10 seconds to get your option. Time's up, the option is 9.8. Now. To understand it, now 1 kgf, this kgf, gf are basically gravitational units of force. In SI, 1 kgf is the gravitational force of 1 kg mass. If you take 1 kg weight in your hand, the gravitational force you feel downward is 1 kgf force. That is 1 kg multiplied by 9.8 meter per second, that is 9.8 newton. Now, similarly, in CGF unit, it is gram force, that is 1 gram into 980 centimeter per second square that is 989 so this gives you a very easy understanding of how much is one newton force so one newton force will be like if you take 100 gram weight in your hand which used to be used in that uh, balancing weight in the shops so those 100 gram weight if you take your hand the force you feel downward is one newton now coming to the next MCQ, turning effect of force is measured by which unit you have got 10 seconds to get your option. Time's up. The answer is Newton meter. Now, this turning effect is basically torque. And in the given list, the unit of torque given here is Newton meter. The next MCQ. Which of the following is not a unit of torque? You have got again 10 seconds to get to your option. Time's up. Answer is kgf centimeter. Here you see in kgf centimeter, it is basically SI and CGS unit which has been mixed together. The others are units of torque. Now, there will be many similar straightforward questions on uh, these units and different quantities and their units. It's like one Newton meter is how much time centimeter, one Newton is how much time, what is the SI unit of torque, etc., etc. So those you detect, uh, you, you get into the units, you make sure that you have control over those. Those are basically easy questions you will get. Now the MCQ is moment of a force indicates which of the following. There are four options. How strong is the force? The acceleration that can be created, the turning effect of the force, whether the body is pivoted or not. You have got 10 seconds, get your option. Time up. The answer is turning effect of force. Next MCQ. Moment of a force does not depend on which of the following. 
magnitude of the force, distance between the pivot and the point of application of force, perpendicular distance from the pivot to the direction of the force, and position of the pivot. So you choose your option in 10 seconds time. Yes, time's up. The answer is distance between the pivot and the point of application of force. Let's understand it a little bit. So it's like, see, this is an object. You can see the force F. Force F is being applied here. Now, this distance from the pivot, this distance from the pivot to the point of force, the red dotted mark, this is not important. What is important is the force and the perpendicular distance. So option B is not important. Other, other, others are important. So torque value does not depend on this distance. So option is B. The next time second. Moment of a couple does not depend on magnitude of the force, distance between them, shape of the body, position of the pivot. So you have got 10 seconds to choose your option. Is time's up? Answer is three and four. That is shape of the body and position of the pivot. Movement of a couple does not depend on shape of the body and position of the pivot. Next time, say you. Which of the following is not true? A pivoted body can have only rotational motion. A free, that is unpivoted body, can have both rotational and translational motion. Torque will be maximum if the direction of the force is passing through the pivot. Translational effect for a pair of forces called couple is zero. Your 50 second timer starts now. Time's up. The answer is torque will be maximum if direction of the force is passing through pivot. We have to find out the answer which is not true. So in fact, torque is zero in this case. So torque cannot be maximum. So this is the option which is not true. Next MCQ. Which of the following will not increase the moment of force or torque? Increasing the diameter of steel uh, steering wheel, moving the door handle towards a hinge, making the handle of a spanner long, using a long handle for a screw jack. Your 10 seconds timer starts now. Time's up. Answer is moving door handle towards hinge. So moving door handle towards hinge does not increase the moment. It rather reduces. So one, one always prefers to take the door handle towards the edge, towards the side, away from the hinge. Next time, take you. So in the four figures, so you can see this P is the pivot. P is the pivot. F is the force. P is the pivot. F is the force. Now you have to tell in which of the four cases the turning effect is maximum. Your 10 seconds timer starts now. Time's up. The option is C. You look at carefully. In the first case, the force is passing through the pivot. So there will not be any turning effect. B, two equal forces are acting almost at equal distance of the pivot. So again, there will be no turning effect because they will cancel each other. Torque of this upper F will cancel the torque of the lower F. So in the first case, moment is zero. In the second case, also moment is zero. In the fourth case, also moment is zero because you can see all the three forces are directed towards the pivot. In the fourth case, also pivot is, the moment is zero. But in the third case, you can see there is very clear distance between the pivot and the direction of the force. So the moment is AF into D. So C is the option 
where you will get the maximum turning effect. A similar question, the next one. So there are four figures given. The actual question will come in the next page. There are four figures. So there are there there are for the two it is this. These two are pivoted, where P is marked, these two bodies are pivoted, these two bodies are not pivoted. And the direction of forces are like this. You have to match the application of the force and the result. The result comes here. So option A, B, C, these are the four figures and result there are four options. You have to match the options. Here it is 15 seconds time, the timer starts now. Time's up. Option is C. Now let's look at each of them separately, one by one. The first one. The first one you can see the force is passing through pivot. So there will be no motion, neither rotational nor linear. There will not be any motion. That is option A is 3. Option A is 3. That means your option, option A and option D is out. So A is 3. That means you have got option B or C. Now let's say the second one. Second one, here you can see the force is passing through the center. Force is passing through the center. So there will not be any rotational motion, but only translational motion. The body will move forward. So this is capital B2. That means you already have seen that your option is, chosen option should be C. Now let's see the other two. In the third case, it is pivoted and the, the the force is not in the line with the pivot that means here there will be only translational motion there will not be any there will not be there will be only rotational motion there will not be any translational motion and in the fourth case this body is not pivoted so it will have both translational and rotational motion it's like hitting a football at the side of it the ball will move with rotation Next thing to do. The moment of a force of 5 Newton is 3 Newton meter. The force is 5 Newton and moment of the force is 3 Newton meter. What is the minimum distance between the pivot and the line of action of the force? You have got four options. Your 10 seconds timer starts now. Times the answer is 0.6 meter. Let's see the calculation. It's easy. Moment is force into distance. Now you have given both force. You have given force and the moment. So distance will be moment by force. That is 3 by 5 is equal to 0.6 meter. Next time, you. You look at the picture. A person is pulling a hinged body with a rope. The force he is giving is 100 Newton and this distance is 5 meter. The angle is given. Now you have to find the moment of the force. Now he said you have to think of it little bit. So here you have got 20 seconds time. The timer starts now. Yeah, time's up. Let's see the answer. The answer is 250 Newton meter. But how it came? Let's see the calculation also. Now you have you have been given the force that is 100 Newton. You require that D. Now D is the basically perpendicular distance of the force from the hinge. That is red color D you require. Right? So this is a right angle triangle. This is a right angle triangle. So drawn here, this you require this D. So D by 5 is sine 30. So D will be 5 meter into sine 30. That is 2.5 meter. That is the value of D. So moment is F into D 2.5 meter into 100 Newton. That is 250 Newton. Next MCQ. For opening a nut, a torque of 6 Newton meter is required. 
the force of a mechanic can give will vary will vary from 20 newton to 30 newton if you are to design a suitable spanner what length you will give to the handle keeping an additional length of 10 meter for the grip that means torque required is 6 newton meter and the mechanic can give force of 20 newton to 30 newton now you need to design a spanner what will be the length of the handle that you will keep now again you have to think little bit so here it is 20 seconds timer the timer starts now Time's up. Let's see the answer. It is 40 centimeter. No. Let's get into the calculation also. It is for design, we will consider the weakest person. That is, the force we will consider is 20 Newton. So the length of the handle is torque by force plus 10 centimeter for the grip. That is 6 by 20 plus 10 centimeter. That is 0.3 meter plus 10 centimeter. That is 40 centimeter is the answer. Hope you are liking this video. We will request you to like, share and comment on the video and also to subscribe the channel and press the bell icon. Next MCQ. Which of the following does not operate on principle of moment? Beam balance, plus on lever, seesaw, pulley. 10 seconds timer starts now. Hope you got your options. Let's see the answer. There is pulley. Let's understand also. Now beam balance. It operates on principle of moment. Right side moment, left side moment. Class 1 lever, again class 1 lever, you have got a fulcrum in the middle. In both sides, you have got moment and the balancing of moment is important. Seesaw, again fulcrum in the middle, weights in two sides creating moment. Now pulley, here these two distances are same, so there is no moment calculation here, basically it's comparison of the forces. So pulley is the option here which does not operate on principle of moment. Next MCQ. So you have been given a <coughs> principle of moment numerical. Now what is the net moment of the forces in the figure below? You can take the value of G as 10 meter per second square. So small numerical, 20 seconds time, timer starts now. I'm sure you worked out your option. Let's see the answer. It is 30 Newton meter. Let's understand the calculation also. Here, the right hand side weight is in kg. But the answer is required in Newton meter. So you need to convert this right side weight 3 kg into Newton. So 3 kgf is 30 Newton that you know. So you calculate the clockwise moment. You also calculate the anti-clockwise moment and difference between the two is anti-clockwise moment 30 newton. So option is plus 30 newton meter. Next MCQ. Again a small numerical on principle of moment. So what it says? Some masses are put on a meter scale. Scale points marked in centimeter as shown. The scale is pivoted at 50 centimeter mark. You have been provided with another mass of 50 gram to balance the scale. Where did you put the mass? Again, 20 seconds timer starts now.
Time's up. I'm sure you got your answer. Let's check. It is that it has to be put at 20 centimeter mark. Now let's look at the solution also. Now you can see the two weights are at equal distance and the right hand side mass is more. So the net moment, right hand side moment will be more. So net moment is 100 gram into 50 centimeter, 100 gram into 50 centimeter, minus, that is minus because this is clockwise moment and plus anti-clockwise moment 70 gram into 50. That is 1500 GF centimeter, gram for centimeter. Now to balance 50, to balance 50 gram mass has to be put say at a distance, then you form the equation 50 into D is equal to 1500, that is D is equal to 30 centimeter. That means you have to put the mass 30 centimeter away from the pivot. That means you have to put it at 20 centimeter mark. Next one. You have to choose which relation is correct for a balanced condition. Again, 20 seconds time. Timer starts now. Time's up. Hope you got your option right. Let's see the correct answer. Option B. Now let's understand also a little bit. Principle of moment that is W1 into L1 is equal to W2 into L2. Then cross transfer, you get the option B. Next one. Again, small numerical, easy one, 20 seconds time. A, a meter scale with two weights hanging at two ends. One weight is unknown. This is in balanced condition. You need to find the unknown weight. You need to find the mass of the unknown, unknown, unknown mass. That is B. You have 20 seconds time. Timer starts now. Time's up. Hope you got your option. Let's see. It is option D. No. Let's see the calculation also. You can easily calculate that value of B will come 70 gram force by principle of moment. But here there is a small twist in the question. What has been asked is mass of B. The weight you are getting 70 GF. So the mass of the mass of B will be 70 gram. Mass of B will be 70 gram. Weight is 70 GF and mass will be 70 gram. Next one. Match the items under object and position of center of gravity. In the left side, you have got the objects listed and the right hand side you have listed. You have this position of CG list. You need to match the two column items. You have got 20 seconds time. Timer starts now. Hope you got your option correct. Let's see. The answer is option D. Now let's understand also. Let's look at each of them separately. Long rod. It is at midpoint of the length. That is 112. 112 means that you will have option either. That option B is ruled out. A, C or D. Now let's look at the second one. Hollow cone. It is at a height of h by 3 from the base of the vertical. That means 2 is 11. 2 is 11. That means option D you already got. Now let's see the third one. Cube. That is point of intersection of diagonals. That is 3 is 9. 3 is 9. And circular lamina 
you know it it is at the geometrical center so the option is option d next one identify the wrong statement center of gravity of a body may lie outside the body for a homogeneous body of regular shape the center of gravity lies at the geometric center of the body center of gravity of a body does not change with change of shape of the body option d for a wood steel stick with one side wood the other side steel the siege will move towards steel side of the stick you have got 20 seconds time to get to your option Yeah, time's up. Let's see the answer. That is, center of gravity of a body does not change with change of shape of the body. You have to identify the wrong statement. This is the wrong statement. Center of gravity of a body do change with the change of shape. So option C is the answer. Next one. For a hollow cone of height h the position of the center of gravity is how much below the tip of the cone it's a very common question you will find this question in selena book also so maybe you know the answer your 15 seconds time starts now So let's see the answer. Answer is B, option B. Let's understand also a little bit. So you know from the bottom it is at a height of h by 3. So from the tip it will be at a height of 2h by 3. That is option B. Next one. For a solid cone, the CG is at a height of 3 cm from the base. What is the height of the cone? Four options, 15 seconds, timer starts now. Time's up, let's see the answer. Let's see the calculation, easy. E set H by three for a solid cone, H by three from the base. So h by h by 4 from the base, that is h by 4 is equal to 3 centimeter or h is equal to 12 centimeter. Next MCQ. For a hollow cone, the center of gravity is at a height of 4 centimeter from the base. Now, if the cone is converted into a solid cone, how much will the CG, CG move and in which direction? 10 seconds. Timer starts now. Time's up. Let's see the answer. Answer is 1 cm downward. Let's understand the calculation. Now in hollow condition, it is at h by 3. That is h by 3 is given 4 cm. So h is 12 cm. Now in solid condition, CG will be at a height of h by 4. That is 12 by 4. That is 3 cm from the base. So it was earlier at 4 cm from the base. Now it has become 3 cm from the base. So it has moved 1 cm downward. That is option A. Next MCQ. Identify the incorrect statement. Centripetal force depends on mass of the object, tension in the thread, velocity of the object, radius of the circular path. So it's easy. Just take some time, get to your option. Let's see the answer. The answer is tension in the thread. Tension in the thread does not contribute to the centripetal force. That is, in fact, that provides the centripetal force. 
last MCQ for the day match the items under rotating body and the provider of the centripetal force in the left side the rotating bodies you have are wheeling stone planet electron cycle taking turn and the provider of centripetal force electrostatic force between positive and negative charges angle the cycle makes with the road tension in the string gravitational force you have got 15 seconds and four options to choose from timer starts now Time's up. Hope you got your option. Let's see. The answer is option C. Let's under, understand each of them separately. Now for the wheeling stone, the centripetal force is provided by the string and the tension in the string that provides the centripetal force that makes the stone rotate. That is 111. That means it will be either B, C or D. Let's look at the second one, that is planet. For planet, it is the force of gravitation between the sun and the planet that keeps them tied with the sun. So the gravitational force provides the centripetal force. That is for 2, it is 12. For 2, 12, you already got your option C. Now let's see the other two cases. Then is electron. When an electron is rotating around a nucleus where you have got positive charge in the center and electron is negatively charged, is basically electrostatic force between positive and negative charge which provides the centripetal force. And the last one, cycle taking turn. This is the angle the cyclist make with the ground. This angle, he leans towards the center of the circular path he is taking. So this leaning towards the center, it gives the required component of force that provides the centripetal force. Hope you have enjoyed the video. If you have liked the video, please share, comment and subscribe to the channel. Thank you and see you in the next video.